Hi everyone, this is the orientation for Sociology 321, Race, Ethnicity, and Inequality. This is a second eight-week class, um, so you should be prepared uh, to get started right away. So just a little bit about me. I'm your instructor for the course, Dr. Belinda Lum. I'm in the Department of Sociology at Sacramento City College. Uh, I am full-time faculty, so you could find me on campus there at SCC quite a bit, especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, please note on the syllabus that I have office hours listed, and you could also see my office hours on our Canvas website. This is my contact information. Um, it is, of course, always best to either call or shoot me an email. When you call me, it actually will send your voice message over into my email so that I can play it wherever I'm at. So some very important info that you need to know right away. Number one, you must log in to your Canvas website by 11.59 p.m. on the first day of class. If you fail to log in, you will be dropped. So please make sure that you log in um, and take a look around. Keep uh, Note that one of the big differences about using Canvas is that I can actually see whenever you've logged in and for how long you've logged in for. Um, it is going to be really important that you acquaint yourself with Canvas. If you haven't already used Canvas and this is your first time using the new learning management system, um, then it's going to be important that you work in some time to understand how it works. Uh, the entire Los Rios Community College District is moving over to this Canvas system and everyone will be using it within the next year. I just um, opted to adopt it early. Uh, third, you're going to want to review the syllabus. Some of you probably already have since I emailed it out in advance. Um, and then you should go to the discussion boards in Canvas and introduce yourself and answer the questions that I've put up there. So when you signed up for this and like like uh, every other class here at SCC or that you've taken, um, there's a gener general course description. Um, it's this course description and the learning outcomes that make the course transferable to your four-year college. And so this course examines patterns of ethnic relations, the course, and this course emphasis is domestic, meaning it focuses on the United States, but it does also at times include investigations of global concerns. Um, topics include discrimination, prejudice, social stratification, inequality, racism, sexism, ageism, homophobia, and other related topics. By the end of this class, you should be able to apply and critique sociological theories of racism and privilege as, as a means of maintaining domination and oppression. You should be able to evaluate how social processes, social inequality, and social relationships have shaped the experiences of various underrepresented groups in the United States. Um, you should be able to assess the outcomes and identify the origins of prejudice and discrimination in the United States. And that you should be able to identify social processes that lead to conflict and cooperation among underrepresented groups in the United States. Now, succeeding in this course, uh, you know, in order to succeed in this course, you're going to want to do a couple things. Number one, you need to realize that this is a very fast-paced eight-week class, and you are required to do two weeks' worth of work in one week, and it's all online. So please make sure you dedicate the time needed to be successful. Um, with online classes, it is especially, especially important that you really um, exercise time management. Um, so that means making sure you commit um, a certain number of hours a week in order to be able to listen to my online lectures, to read materials for the class, uh, writing your notes, completing homework, and doing the discussion boards and peer responses. So just make sure that you sit down and calendar this all out. I cannot um, emphasize how important this is. Also, as I noted at the front end, Canvas. Learn it, love it, know it. 
uh, extremely important, and plan to log on to our class canvas page a minimum of four times per week. Um, everything you need for this class is housed there. This includes readings, discussion boards, syllabus, assignments, and class announcements and Canvas tutorials. Uh, you do not have a textbook for this class. Everything is contained on Canvas and you can download it um, and read the uh, PDFs that I have up there um, on your computer. Uh, there is also an app that you can download onto either your iPad or to your cell phone. Uh, which basically means that you have multiple ways in which you can use this system. If you need in-person help on how to navigate Canvas, I suggest that you go to SCC's or Sacramento City College's Learning Resource Center uh, in the library and it's room 144. The student resource desk can help you learn how to use Canvas. Um, of course, I also often find that the tutorial online tutorials are often enough. Uh, you can connect to those tutorials from the email that I sent you about a week ago. Or you can also log on to canvas.losrios.edu. You'll use your WID number. And then when you click through on modules, you'll see that I have a list of different tutorials on there as well. So the required readings for this class, I am committed to uh, low cost, no cost reading options. And so for this class, it's no cost unless you choose to print your readings out, but that's entirely up to you. Um, all readings or links uh, to readings are found um, on our uh, Canvas on, uh, on our Canvas site under the modules tab in the course reading section. Um, you should... Uh, on occasion, you'll be asked to read newspaper articles, in which case I'm very specific that you need to use one of the following newspaper uh, journals, New York Times, LA Times, The Post, Sacramento Bee, Time Magazine, Wall Street Journal, or, uh, or the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Not all newspapers are equal, and so I expect that your citations come from these sites. And know that on occasion I may um, opt to change readings. I never add additional pages. Most of the time I, sub uh, I subtract, but I will certainly let you know uh, well in advance so that you won't end up reading something too far, um, uh, too far in advance. So getting to the course requirements, um, as you probably already read on the in, in the syllabus, this class is online requires you independent to independently manage your time and participation. Failure to complete or submit more than a total of four assignments. This is a combination of discussion boards, board responses, homework quizzes. Anything that I assign for this class will result in being dropped from this course. That's a combination of any four of those things. Because because keep in mind that these are the same things as absences in a traditional face-to-face -face class. So in terms of participation, this is really about um, how you dialogue on the message boards. Participation is so in this class, uh, your voice matters, your ideas, perspectives, and, and the questions that you ask of each other are extremely important. Uh, we all learn from each other, so participation is based on your engagement in the discussion boards, and I expect your responses to be topical and directly engage what other students are saying when asked questions. Please, and when you're asked questions, please respond. Um, I incentivize um, making sure that you take notes for this class. Oftentimes we hear so many different things that uh, we forget. So, and in this class, you're going to listen to a wide variety of different materials over the course of eight weeks. So it's easy to kind of forget what you had just learned. So in this class, you're required to keep a reading journal where you capture author's arguments, key points, and findings. I also suggest that you do this for all videos or even for these lectures. Um, you will be required to electronically upload your journal three times over the eight weeks. So, you know, you will either need to give me a link to a Google Doc or you will have to upload a Microsoft Word document. Discussion board entries. So these are your initial uh, board entries where you answer the questions that I ask each week. Um, discussion board entries are 20 points each, 120 points total. You'll be given six prompts during the eight-week course. 
The prompts will be posted on, on Monday and be due on Saturday morning at 7 a.m., so you'll have almost a week to work on it. Discussion board prompts will ask you to respond to readings, give your interpretations of some of the theoretical concepts, concepts you were introduced to, or connect concepts from lecture to the readings. Each of you has been assigned a specific discussion group. So in other words, your discussion groups are going to have no more than about nine people in it. So you should all kind of get to know each other really well. You're not going to have to read through 30 different posts. You only need to read through the posts of your group. Um, you will post your entry on your discussion groups board, and each entry should be between 350 to 450 words. So this is about two to three pages um, double-spaced in Microsoft Word. Your discussion board responses. In other words, what you're going to do is read what your peers wrote, and then you're going to respond to it. Discussion board responses are worth six points each, or uh, 12, uh, 12, for 12 total posts. That's basically two per week for the six weeks that we're doing discussion boards. And that's 72 points total. You're required to respond to two of your classmates' posts per discussion board entry topic. Um, each week, you're going to, you will do a total of two responses with the exceptions of week four and eight. Um, you should ask questions or add additional information from the readings that you think are relevant. Responses should be between 100 to 150 words. Uh, you are graded based on the same criteria as discussion board entries. Responses are due on Monday morning at 7 a.m. So some additional info, um, responding, you should respond to questions that are asked of you on the discussion boards. Um, although there are no points attached to this, your response to any questions asked related to your original discussion post will be positively factored into your participation score. Also note that I will also be participating on those discussion boards and um, at times will also be asking you guys questions as well. Um, I will also be giving some homework assignments. Uh, homework consists of short assignments that require students to answer questions about the reading or write responses to videos and newspaper articles or um, ask you to conduct an observation. Homework is submitted through the Canvas Assignments module. On occasion, I'll give you reading quizzes. Um, You'll receive the notification via announcements, and you'll probably have more of like 48 to 72 hours in which to complete it. Um, these quizzes will be timed, so from the second you open up the quiz, you'll have um, 15 minutes to complete it. Once you log in and access that quiz, you must take the quiz. Uh, quizzes are based off of basic information from the required reading. You have a midterm and a final exam. These will be essays. The exam will cover material presented in lectures, readings, and videos. They're non-cumulative, meaning that uh, you will only be tested on the first four weeks uh, for the midterm, and for the final, you will be tested on the second four weeks. Um, as I know here on the slide, I'll upload the midterm on Tuesday, April 4th, and then it's due by Sunday, April 9th, uh, by midnight. Uh, the final I'll upload Tuesday, May 9th by midnight, and you must complete it by Sunday, May 14th. Note that the fi that normally the final is supposed to be due on the 11th in this class. I extended it through the weekend so you'd have a little bit more time to work on it. A note on late work, uh, makeup exam or quiz is only, will only occur if there are exception, exceptional circumstances. Uh, you'll need to provide written proof of those circumstances and actually bring it to me in person. Uh, you, notify, you'll, um, you can notify the instructor of the situation at least one day prior to class um, on the due date. And um, I may need to ask for additional corroborating um, evidence. Unfortunately, because of other people's bad behavior, um, where their grandparents died multiple times, you know, within the last the two years, and my colleagues and I noted it. Um, oftentimes, you know, even though you may be telling the truth, I sometimes have to ask for additional information.
So just a reminder of the attendance policy, because this is an online class, attendance works a little differently than it would in an in-person class. The class canvas page tracks your activity and you need to know this. I can check and see if you've logged in at any time and for how long you've logged in. I'm able to see when you have most recently logged into class and it tracks um, length of time. I can also see what coursework you have viewed and completed. So this is where it's very different from D2L and I'm telling you this in the spirit of being transparent. Just like with other classes at Sac City, you can still be dropped from class for not attending. The difference is that in this class, attending means logging into the class and attempting to complete the coursework. Again, as a reminder of some things I said on the front end of this lecture, of this orientation, if you do not log into the class Canvas page by the end of the first day, which is on the 14th, or contact me by phone or email, I will drop you from the class at the end of the first day. After that, over the course of the semester, you are expected to miss no more than two units of material. This corresponds to two weeks of material in a 16-week long class or one week of material in an eight-week long class. If you miss more than two units of coursework, you are expected to contact me um, as soon as possible. And, and finally, the one thing I do want to say is that um, we are doing an online class on race and ethnicity, and at times we will be discussing contentious topics. And so as such, in our discussion boards and in our communications with one another, I think it's important that we hold to group agreements. This means that we respect one another. We can all have very big differences of opinion in this class. I think it's okay for us to have these differences of opinion, but we also must substantiate it with fact. And when we were, and, and, and as we begin to talk through these topics, um, just know that um, we listen to one another, or in this case we read, and we consider what each other says, and we can present uh, a, you know, contrary uh, or opposite opinions, but do so in a respectful manner. No uh, you people comments, no harassing, no trolling people. Um, I do monitor these situations and take them very, very seriously. Um, active listening, active engagement. So listening, active listening means not just dialing it in, but also paying attention to what's being said in the videos and in my recordings, all of that. Active engagement means when you're asked a question, respond to it on the discussion board, but also ask your peers questions. I don't want to see responses where you're simply just saying, oh, I like what you said. That's not what discussion boards are for. Substantively engage your um, peers. Be open-minded. Um, don't cut each other off in terms of one diva and one mic. I mean, that's actually more for a face-to-face -face class, but even then, part of your responses and discussion boards should show that you've read everything that the person has said. Um, step up, step back. You know, uh, oftentimes on discussion boards, one person or two people can dominate. It is equally important that you read um, as it is for you to respond. And because all of you sort of have the anonymity of your computer screens, this means that you shouldn't have a shyness issue. So make sure that you're completely and fully investing in this. And more importantly, be ready to learn. Look forward to having you in my class. Uh, if you have questions, please email me. And I look forward to um, our additional class.